Hello, Power Probers. Today we'll cover the Power Probe 3's audible monitoring feature that provides some cool benefits that you might get by using a scope. I'm Jeff, CEO here at Power Probe. Audible monitoring with the Power Probe 3 is not to be confused with the high low pitch tone that is indicated when you test polarity. So in this demonstration, we'll turn the tone off by quick tapping the mode button. Now, when we press the power switch, we don't hear the polarity tone. The audible monitoring feature is the Power Probe 3's ability to detect AC signals and emulate those signals through its speaker. Now here we detect the oscillator signal of the demo board. This example shows how we can hear the pulses of a distributor pickup and know that it is working without needing to connect it to an expensive oscilloscope. Audible monitoring can also play the output of a radio or CD player. You can also hear excessive alternator ripple indicating a defective rectifier. An extremely low battery can also be the cause of ripple, so don't be too quick to condemn the alternator before you test the battery. When detecting open circuit signals using the ECT2000, the Power Probe 3 will reflect the tone of the open circuit signal by direct contact so you can pinpoint the exact wire. We'll cover more on tracing open circuits in our ECT2000 training video. Now the first thing to understand is what makes the audible monitoring feature turn on? Well, the answer is simple. The audible monitoring feature turns on when the AC signals exceed the Power Probe 3's voltage level threshold setting. Let's go to the voltage level threshold settings and learn how it works. First, press and hold the mode button until it beeps. This is negative peak mode. Let's do it again. This is positive peak mode. Again, this is peak to peak mode. Press and hold the mode button one more time. Here, you can see an alternating plus and minus sign in the lower left hand corner of the display. This means you're in the threshold setting. From the factory, the Power Pro 3 is set to 50 volts, as you can see here. Let's tap the mode button and cycle through the settings. Here we have 0.2, and now we have 0.5, 1, 2, 5, 10, and back to 50. Then it cycles back to 0.2 again. With the voltage threshold set at 0.2, which is the power probe's lowest setting, press and hold the mode button. That sound you just heard means you are now in power probe mode and the voltage level is set to 0.2. Now, signals that exceed 0.2 volts can be heard through its power probe 3 speaker. Knowing how to adjust the voltage level threshold setting enables you to adjust it to trigger at specific voltage levels. For instance, if you want to test for a very small signals, you would have it set to the lowest setting of 0.2. If you want to hear the 7.2 volt signal of the ECT2000 transmitter, you will want to set it to 5 volts. If you don't want the audible monitoring feature to come on at all, you'll want to set it to its maximum setting of 50 volts. We also have the Power Probe 3 mode navigation chart in PDF on our website. This shows you in detail the button presses necessary to navigate the Power Probe 3 modes. Just go to our website at powerprobe.com and download a copy for yourself. We hope this video has been helpful to you and we want to thank you for taking the time to understand your Power Probe 3. The better you know it, the faster you'll fix cars.